I'm waving again to the camera. I've been asked by Myono to test their wireless microphone system, WM821. And this is it. <laughs> Myono may not be a name immediately known to many of you. And I'm going to say a little bit about them first to put you in the picture. Hi, and thanks for joining me. So Mayono Technology Company Limited is based in Guangdong, China. The company has a vast portfolio of products which include audio equipment such as microphones, headphones, speakers and other electro-acoustic products. Microphones are the company's main products, manufacturing condenser, dynamic, USB, wireless, recording, ENG and broadcast microphones to name a few. After strong sales in the domestic market, Myono soon transitioned to selling products outside China. Currently 50% of the company's sales come from North America and 15% from Western Europe, significantly now surpassing sales from home soil. So that's a brief introduction to the company. So what is in the box? Let me show you. It's a very neat package. Inside the box you've got the charging case. It comes with one receiver and two transmitters. I am actually using the transmitter at the moment connected to a Lavalier microphone, which is a lapel microphone and it's connected to one of these. <laughs> Also in the box is a carrying bag and an audio cable and two Lavalier microphones and a USB-C cable for charging. As well as that, there are two wind muffs for using together with this. <laughs> this is the transmitter and that will clip onto there. Now I should say from the outset that I am no expert in this field. I know nothing about the audio capabilities. It's far too technical for me. I am an end user. And what I want to know is that I can buy a product like this, take it out of the box, get it up and running with ease and for it to work well. And later on I will be doing some testing. So if I don't say anything too technical about it, don't be surprised because I really wouldn't understand what I'm talking about. As I say, I just want to know that when I use this product that it is going to work and do what it says it will do. So to tell you a little bit more about it, the transmitter weighs 1.2 ounces and the receiver 1.3 ounces. The charging box is a nicely made case. It will charge for up to 20 hours and it will do two and a half full recharges of the transmitters and the receiver. The wireless microphone has a range of up to 328 feet in normal conditions. That's 100 meters and a clear line of sight of 400 feet, which is 120 meters and I'll be testing that later on to see how well that works. As I've said, there are two wireless transmitters. They auto match within seconds once the receiver is switched on, which is very good. There are two connecting cables that come with it. One is for the camera, which I'm using at the moment, and the other is for a phone. What isn't provided is a lightning cable to use with an iPhone which I find a little bit surprising. Whether there's a reason for that, I don't know. The wireless mics use a high-class professional audio chip 
providing intelligent noise reduction. They feature an inbuilt omnidirectional condenser capsule and can be used as a clip-on mic or with a Maono lavalier, which are included as I've shown you. And I know there is also a low cut switch that um, helps cut out background noise. The two microphones allow two people to be recorded simultaneously, which can be very useful if you're interviewing someone or walking about with someone else and you both want to speak. It does have stereo capability as well. Or you can use just one microphone by itself if you're vlogging. I think now the time has come to do some testing. <laughs> so let's see how well that goes. I was hoping for a better day than this to do the testing. It's rather cloudy. <laughs> it was sunny earlier on. At the moment I'm using my Sony AX53 video camera. So I'm not using any wireless microphones or anything. I'm talking straight to the camera. The first test I'm going to do is with the receiver and the transmitter. I'm going to use this transmitter by itself and without the wind muff to start with. Now there are two distances involved. One is 328 feet or 100 meters and the other is 400 feet or 120 meters. I'm going to talk in terms of meters for the time being. I've marked where 100 meters is. If we look behind me we can see in the roadway a sleeping policeman. That's a speed hump basically, where cars have to slow down to go over it. From where I'm stood, that sleeping policeman is about a hundred meters away. If we go further down to the end of the grass, near to where the roadway appears, that is about 120 meters. So in a moment I will start walking down there once these are connected and I'll be talking to you. Obviously my back will be to the camera initially, but we see how we get on. I've now set up the receiver on the camera and I'm wearing the microphone here, as you can see. I'm now walking away from the camera. You can see my position. There are six volume settings on the receiver. I've set this mic up. Level. I'm waving to the camera. Hope you can see me all right. I hope that's picking up okay. There's a little bit of wind where I am. I'm now going to walk further down. I've turned my back to the camera so transmission is lost. But when I arrive at the 120 meter mark and turn, the sound comes back. Round again. I'm waving again to the camera. I'm now going to make my way back. There is quite a bit of wind coming at me. <laughs> bit of a slog uphill, but I'll manage it. I think my hat is wanting to blow off actually. I hope you're picking me up okay. I'm walking at a fair pace. Got a good view over the marina, which is nice. In fact, what I intended to do, and I'll do it now, I've got with me the, the wind muff. So I'm going to attach that to the camera, to the microphone. Right, that's clipped on now. I just step back a little bit, see if we can spot any difference. So I start walking back again. Yes, it's very windy at the moment. <laughs> it's blowing up. It's probably a good day to do the test, actually. I'm feeling that my hat is going to blow off. So I'm just holding on to my hat. 
So it'll be interesting to see how that has come out. So at the moment, I'm using the microphone with the wind muff. In a minute, I will use the lapel microphone and have this further down on my body. I'm now wearing the lapel microphone here on my shirt and the transmitter is in my pocket of my shorts, as you can see here, it's just on the side here. So I'm going to walk away from the camera, then I'll come back again. I'm going to walk down to the full distance again. I'm not going to keep talking on this occasion. I'll let you know when I'm down there. I'll wave to the camera. I'm not actually talking at the moment. Well, I am talking. <laughs> I'm not expecting you to pick me up. My back is to the camera. But in a moment, I'll be turning and facing the camera. I'm now at the 100 meter mark. I'm waving to the camera. Hope you can see me clearly. I'm now going to go on further to the 120 meter mark and we'll see how that comes out. I'm walking backwards as you can see. <laughs> I'm going to turn around though so I can see where I'm going. So I'm waving to the camera again. I'm now at the 120 meter mark. This is regarded as the limit of the range, 120 meters with a clear line of sight, which you can see that I've got. I'm now going to make my way back. It is actually quite windy at this spot. I don't know whether you're going to pick up any interference or not, but I'm going to start walking back. I'm coming back towards the 100 meter mark now. The line of sight is excellent here. So there shouldn't be any interference. It's just a question as to whether you're picking up any wind noise. Well, I'm back again. <laughs> I think that's going very well. I'm now going to do some testing closer to the boat. For me personally, I'm more likely to use a wireless microphone when I'm working around the boat and making my vlogs. It's a very windy afternoon, as you can see. So I'm going to walk up and down the pontoon and see how well it records. You can see me walking away in the distance. There are a few boats out of the marina at the moment. But there are a couple on the hard stand and another is out cruising. So I'm just about to turn now. I'm going to wave at the camera. <laughs> I have got a camera in my hand as well, you've probably noticed. Whoops, <laughs> wind is trying to take my hat off again. I'm going to walk on past the boat for now. So I'm now walking to the far end of the pontoon, passing one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six boats. So I'm now at the end of the jetty. So it should be picking me up quite well I hope. So I'm making my way back now. I'm going to walk down my jetty now, walking down to the back of my boat, holding my hat. <laughs> Don't want my hat blowing off. You can see waves on the water. really windy where I'm stood at the moment. You can see that the turbine is turning very quickly. So I'm going to turn and come back down and here I am back again. I'm quite impressed with this Mayono dual wireless microphone system. There are various ways of testing it. I've tested it outdoors and to the maximum of its limit, which is 120 meters direct line of sight. And I thought it worked very well. I'm waving again to the camera. I tend to use a wireless microphone around the boat when I'm vlogging. When I'm doing things, when I'm mooring up, that sort of thing. When I'm tying off the boat, <laughs> fixing on the fenders. 
I haven't really used a system like this for interviewing people, but there's no doubt it has a lot of benefits and it works very well indeed. I think we saw that when I did the long test when I was walking down, even with my back to the camera, it was suddenly much better than without this. It does come in a nicely presented case. This is the charging case. The microphones will work for eight hours in one go, so you can use them all day without any worry. The charging case has 20 hours of capacity, so it can charge the microphone system two and a half times. I think that's a very good plus point. Also, I haven't mentioned that it comes with an instruction sheet. The instruction sheet is in several languages, but the important one for us is English. <laughs> and there are also various diagrams on the sheet, which explains in simple terms how it's used. The instructions aren't particularly detailed, but I was able to follow them, which is good. <laughs> And I'm not always finding that easy to follow other people's instructions. But there are so many different ways of setting these things up. And I think you do need to have some uh, experimentation with your own camera equipment, especially to get the volume settings right, because you can set the volume on the camera plus on the microphones. The transmitters do seem a little large, but each has its own six level volume control which can be monitored using the receiver. There's a screen on the receiver for that purpose and you can monitor how each microphone is set. If you use the transmitter with the Lavalier microphone it will be less noticeable as you can have this in your pocket or about your person. It does have a clip on it so you can clip it sort of anywhere on your clothing if you wish to do that. I did say at the outset that I'm not a very technical person. My interest is as an end user. I just want to know that when I take the kit out of the box <laughs> that it's going to work quite straightforwardly. It is easy to set up. I found it so and I think it worked very well. So I'm very pleased with this I have to say. Very pleased indeed. There is a link in the video description which will give a 10% discount on the usual retail price. Now I've seen this quoted at over £200 on some websites, but on the Myono website the selling price is £160. Presently they're giving a 10% discount which already brings it down to 144 but with my special code you'll get a further discount which brings it down to £129.60, which I think is very, very good value. So please do look out for that and think about making a purchase. You won't be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed that look at me testing the Myono dual wireless microphone system. I thoroughly enjoyed doing the testing myself and I'd like to thank the company for giving me that opportunity to do so and wish them every success for the future. All that remains for me to say, as usual, <laughs> is look after yourselves, your friends and families, take the utmost care in whatever you're doing. Until next time, bye for now. Bye everyone, take care.